Lunar New Year is coming up and I'm half Chinese, so I celebrate with my family in a few different ways. My dad's side of the family is from South Korea um, and they immigrated here to Canada. So there are still a lot of the traditions that we still like to keep and still do. And I think that's really special um, to me and it's really important to me. So um, we typically celebrate on the typical new year on January 1st. Um, we have New Year's Day and we have a lot of Korean traditions. My family tradition for Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year is usually go to my aunts and uncles with my family and get red packets or um, otherwise known as lacy and get some money. <laughs> so I'll wear the traditional hanbok and we'll go to my grandma's um, and we have um, the special New Year soup. Um, and then we kind of go through the traditional um, ceremony of New Year. So typically we'll bow to our elders and then they give us wisdom and some money, <laughs> which is nice. We'll go out for a very big dinner, a multi-course dinner that will always include long life noodles. So lo really long unbroken noodles are considered very lucky because they signify long life. And then eat, uh, have a family dinner. So that's usually how we do it. And I, I'm like one of the youngest in the family. So I'm still at the age where I could be receiving red packets um, instead of having to hand them out. And I will every year make this type of steamed savory radish cake called lobako with my grandma. Hopefully I can redeem myself. Last year I, did not read the recipe very well and it turned out terribly and I, I have some making up to do. <laughs>